Hi and welcome to the studio. I'm Jamie Boss. In this video we're going to be talking about repairing the bridge that lifts off. Uh, it can be a big problem on a lot of different types of guitars. You see it specifically on a lot of 12 strings and you see it on a lot of inexpensive guitars especially when they have a very thick coating of uh, finish on. Is We're going to just talk a minute about the shear force. Now here we've got a triple O guitar that was built by a student and I know exactly what they did wrong so I'm going to take a spatula this is just a little artist spatula and I can stick this spatula right underneath the edge of the bridge if I try to push it in here I can't very solid fit it'll go in here but right in the middle it won't go under there so right in this area it's glued very solidly I've also got a uh, little bit of a thermometer here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my thermometer under there. I'm just going to use this to hold it down and I'm not going to walk away from this. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to give it five minutes, uh, put it on a medium setting and I'm just going to sit here for about five minutes and I'm going to heat this up to try to warm up the bridge and I'm going to just put this in here and just work this and notice I'm just working it there's a lot of glue that's going to come off with this chisel so the glue stuck to the bridge it did not stick to the spruce you can see the amount of glue that was on the bridge itself so we'll make sure we get all of this off I need to put a call or a piece of wood in there that's going to be above the two X braces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a piece of wood that'll fit right between the two X braces. So when I take my three clamps, the three clamps have something solid to press against and at the same time I'm keeping them away from the X bracing. So all the pressure is going to be directly on the bridge pad or bridge plate. You can actually see where the, where the varnish is. You just have to work at it to get it, get it uh, finished. So when it's all unsaid and done, by just taking a minute and just sort of rubbing it into the joint, uh, a lot of that squeeze out came out even before I put the clamps on it, which is gonna help us.